Hi, welcome to another video. So, Anthropic has just launched Claude Sonnet 4.5, and let's talk about this. This is their new Frontier model, and they're calling it the best coding model right now. The big deal is better computer use, longer multi-step reasoning, and stronger math and STEM performance at the same price as Sonnet 4, $3 for input, and $15 for output per million tokens, which is kinda cool. If you remember Sonnet 4, that was already really good. Sonnet 4.5 is a step up across coding, terminal use, and the whole let it actually use a computer vibe. On the safety side, they say this is their most aligned frontier model to date, and it's released under ASL3 protections, which is pretty good. So, there's that. Now, let's move into a quick walkthrough, and I'll show you how I'd use it across normal developer workflows. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. First, majorly about the model itself, performance, and behavior. The headline numbers look strong. On SWE Bench Verified for Agentic Coding, Sonnet 4.5 reports 77.2%, ahead of Opus 4.1 at 74.5, and Sonnet 4 at 72.7, while GPT-5 shows 72.8, and Gemini 2.5 Pro sits at 67.2. For terminal style coding, Terminal Bench has Sonnet 4.5 at 50.0% versus Opus 4.1 at 46.5, GPT-5 at 43.8, and Sonnet 4 at 36.4, Gemini 2.5 Pro Trails at 25.3. Computer use on OS World Jumps to 61.4% for Sonnet 4.5 from 42.2 on Sonnet 4 and 44.4 on Opus 4.1, which is quite awesome. In reasoning heavy stuff, AIM 2025 with Python hits 100% for Sonnet 4.5, higher than Opus 4.1 at 78.0, Sonnet 4 at 70.5, GPT-5 at 99.6, and Gemini 2.5 Pro at 94.6. GPQA Diamond puts Sonnet 4.5 at 83.4, close to GPT-5 at 85.7, and Gemini 2.5 Pro at 86.4, and ahead of Opus 4.1 at 81.0, and Sonnet 4 at 76.1. Multilingual MMLU is 89.1 for Sonnet 4.5 versus 89.5 for Opus 4.1 and 89.4 for GPT-5. Visual Reasoning MMM Validation shows 77.8 for Sonnet 4.5, with GPT-5 higher at 84.2 and Gemini 2.5 Pro at 82.0 but still up from Sonnet 4's 74.4. Finance Agent has Sonnet 4.5 at 55.3, ahead of Opus 4.1 at 50.9, GPT-5 at 46.9, Sonnet 4 at 44.5, and Gemini 2.5 Pro at 29.4. And on domain evaluations like finance and STEM win rates, Sonnet 4.5 with extended thinking leads. Finance shows 72% at 
and 68% entries for Sonnet 4.5, 16K thinking, ahead of Opus 4.1 in the low 60s, and Sonnet 4 around 49-50%. to 50%. STEM shows Sonnet 4.5, 16K thinking, at 69%, while the non-extended version sits at 58%, Opus 4.1, 16K thinking, is 62%, and Sonnet 4 variants hover around 50 to 52%. On alignment, there's a chart showing misaligned behavior scores where lower is better. Sonnet 4.5 has the lowest score among the listed models with error bars indicating 95% bootstrap confidence intervals. GPT-4, O, and Grok-4 appear with the highest scores on that graph, and Sonnet 4.5 is at the bottom, which is pretty good. Practically, this matters when you let the model browse, edit files, or run commands. You want fewer weird behaviors. However, it's still gated under ASL3, so if you brush up against sensitive domains, classifiers might flag or interrupt. It's improved, but you might hit a false positive here and there. If that happens, you can continue the thread with Sonnet 4, which is kind of a bummer, but it keeps you moving. Now, let's get into Claude Code and the VS Code extension, because that's where you'll feel this day today. In Claude Code, checkpoints are the standout. You can save state mid-task and roll back instantly if something breaks, which is quite awesome. Switching to the native VS Code extension, you install it, open your workspace, and connect your Anthropic account. It's pretty good and allows you to basically have something like Klein in your coder. You can still use it in something like Kilo Code for free with the $25 free credit and just use it all you want there without any issues. Apart from this, there's also the Claude Agent SDK. Basically, what it does is give you the same foundation anthropic uses for Claude code, so you can build your own agent systems. Think controller and subagents, a testing subagent that runs commands in a sandbox, a documentation subagent that writes summaries and updates Redum and a deployment subagent that only acts with explicit approval. You can parallelize tool execution, like running multiple bash commands in CI-like flows, to maximize actions per context window, which is pretty good. It is very similar to wiring up a small team with clear roles and permissions. I really liked it, but I'll say you still need to design policies and indexing strategies for big repos. Don't expect miracles if your workspace is chaotic. Strengths are that the model is faster and more capable at real computer use and long horizon tasks. Checkpoints in Claude Code are a lifesaver. The VS Code extension keeps everything inside your editor. Memory and context editing reduce manual state management. And the Agent SDK opens the door for custom agentic workflows. Pricing staying flat at $3 per 15 million tokens is welcome, because long-running sessions can rack up tokens quickly, which is pretty good. However, a few caveats. ASL3 safeguards can still interrupt normal content in edge domains. If a classifier trips, it's a bummer, but you can switch to Sonnet 4 mid-thread. Complex browser flows across auth walls or weird dynamic pages may still need babysitting. Visual reasoning is strong, but not the highest in the field compared to GPT-5 on some metrics. And for truly massive code bases, your repo indexing and project structure still matter. It won't fix a messy monorepo on its own. Concluding thoughts is that if you are an avid watcher of this channel, you know I care more about reliability and everyday usage. Sonnet 4.5 looks like a meaningful upgrade. The benchmarks back it up, but I'll do my own testing and probably push it out tomorrow.
So stay tuned for that and check that out. That is majorly about it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.